And good evening, I'm Karen Lawrence. And we begin tonight with graduation. It's the season for many Green Country seniors. Central High School here in Tulsa celebrated its 2021 graduating class tonight. And 2 News' Mason Morrow tells us one Eastern Oklahoma grad who's battling leukemia wasn't able to walk across the stage, but felt the love from his classmates 400 miles away. 18-year-old Javen Blake watched his high school graduation on a computer screen in a hospital bed at St. Jude's Children Research Hospital in Memphis. I wasn't going to watch it at first. I, mean, I just wasn't going to. I was going to be. I, I just thought it was going to be too hard. Acute myeloid leukemia kept him from walking across the stage and accepting his four-year diploma along with his fellow classmates. In December, after recovering from a bout with coronavirus, the prior high wrestler was surprisingly diagnosed with the cancerous disease. Two News spoke with Javen just weeks before his first round of chemo treatments. In late January, a doctor told him his expected two-month stay needed to be extended. I'm not going to lie, I, kinda, I cried, you know, that, that would hurt. Because that was the big, that was the very first big news, you know, that I wasn't getting to go home any sooner than I had hoped or when I had hoped. Javen underwent two more rounds of aggressive chemotherapy. Along the way, he lost his weight, his hair, and his skin turned pale. I looked in the mirror and I was like, I didn't even recognize myself. What Javen didn't lose was his will to keep on fighting. Javen matched with a bone marrow donor and after a fourth round of chemo, underwent a stem cell transfusion two weeks ago. My body has accepted it to say, and it's going to start working more and there's not as high chance of infect or rejection right now anymore. Now Javen is on the fast track to full recovery just in time to tune in to his graduation day last Friday. Prior High Principal J.R. Winton flew Javen's cap and gown to him in April and shared a few words about the senior class leader before calling his name at commencement, followed by a standing ovation from Javen's classmates. A gesture of support and appreciation felt hundreds of miles away. I would have never thought I could have that. It's such a great feeling to know that I do have that. Javen says he was told by his doctors this week he could be released from the hospital for outpatient care as soon as this Sunday, and he hopes to make it back here to Oklahoma as soon as August. And when that happens, he can be seen here at St. Francis in Tulsa for his check-in appointments. Reporting Mesa Morrow, 2 News.